Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2, May June 2023, Variant 2 2. I am going to solve the presentation task. The previous two tasks, document and database, are already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So, presentation task is task 4. You are going to create a short presentation. Create a presentation using the file vcworld.rtf. So first open PowerPoint. I have opened a blank presentation. Now go to new slide to import the file. New slide. Slides from outline. Select your folder. And you have to select the file. VC world. So select VC world insert you will find a blank slide here you can delete that so you have got six slides in the presentation place in the header automated slide numbers left aligned and in the footer your name center number and candidate number left aligned so we need to go to the master slide click on view slide master go to the top slide where all the changes will be done you can remove these placeholders we will insert our own placeholders as and when required so first we need to insert automated slide numbers left aligned so I will insert a text box left aligned so I will keep the text box here now you go to insert and then slide number in the footer your name center number and candidate number left aligned so let's insert another text box here tap your name center number and candidate number So these are the items that will come in the master slide. You can close the slide master. Now on every slide you will find the slide number and your candidate details. Use the data in the file j2322apps.csv to create a vertical bar chart. So open the apps file, we have to show the number of downloads for each app. This is the required data. The chart must display the app title and downloads. So let's select the data, app title and downloads, these are the values. And let's create a vertical bar chart. So insert. This is a vertical bar chart. Do not display a legend. Legend is not shown here. If it's shown, you can just remove from here. Next, label the chart as follows. Chart title is Top Fitness App Downloads 2022. So the chart title as given so I have added the chart title value axis title is million so this is the value axis axis title million and this you can name as apps Display only the data values along the top of each bar. So each bar should show the data values. Select the bars, go to data labels. Click data labels, it will be shown on the top of each bar. 
format the value axis scale to display minimum value of 0 maximum value of 15 and increments of 3 so this is the value axis right click format axis minimum value is 0 maximum value is 15 and the increments 3 increment means we have to give in major 3 place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title virtual cycling trends so let's copy this chart virtual cycling trends to the left of this slide so resize this and let's place the chart here no words in the chart are split all the data and labels are fully visible the chart and its contents do not overlap so all of them are visible and it's not split and it is not overlapping on the slide with the title virtual cycling trends create the square shaped action button and position this in the top right corner so on the same slide we have to insert a square shape button so i'll go to insert shapes let's draw a square here We have to assign an action to this shape. Format the action button so that when click it opens the document with the file name j2322trends.rtf. So click on this. You can see insert. Click on action. Hyperlink to. Select other file. And you can select your file here. trends.rtf so select trends.rtf give ok and ok enter the text top fitness trends as text on the action button so right click edit text you can enter top fitness trends here So this is a hyperlink now if you click on it the file will open so this is the action button placing your evidence document a screenshot showing the action button link to the correct document make sure that file name is fully visible so for the screenshot you can select this action button click on action you can see the link which we have given here you can take the screenshot of this And that is your step 29. Set the slide show so it loops continuously on screen. So go to slide show. Go to the option set up slide show. We have the option here loop continuously until escape. So select this. We need to take a screenshot of how you set the looping. So take a screenshot of this window. That is your evidence. Step 30 evidence. Next save the presentation. Print all the slides as handouts in portrait orientation with three slides to the page so to print the you need to save the presentation now to print the slides with three slides per page go to print you can select three slides and you need to give your candidate details in the header or footer so go to edit header and footer in the header you can give your details
print the slide with the title virtual cycling trends as a full page slide in landscape orientation so you just need to select the full page slides and now you will mention the slide number virtual cycling trends is the sixth slide i guess no sorry three third slide and this is the slide and when you select full page it's automatically landscape and this needs to be printed so that is the end of presentation task task 5 printing the evidence document so our evidence document is ready with all the evidences which we have collected from all the tasks so this is the last step to print the evidence document make sure all the screenshots are visible so this is the end of this paper thank you for now